Hey everybody, Asher here, back with some more Hearthstone, where today we are going to be doing another deck guide. Today is actually a Control Warrior deck with a slight variation that causes you to kind of cascade down the deck a little bit. We are looking at a Varian Win, or Rin, excuse me, Control Warrior deck called King Me. Because, well, he's the king, and that's kind of how it goes. He is a 10 mana 7-7, seven, seven, one of the most coveted legendaries, at least before the release of the Grand Tournament. There are some question marks that people could have about him, such as he's a 10 mana for 7-7. Seven, seven. He draws three cards. Any minion that you draw goes directly onto the battlefield, and some of the strongest minions in the game are Battlecry minions. And Lord knows Control Warrior uses a lot of Battlecry minions. So what I've tried to do here today is to weigh the deck in a way that it can still survive the early game okay. You want to get Varian out as best as possible, and if he draws you creatures, hopefully they're creatures that do not really hurt you because you lose their battle cry. So that means some of the standard creatures that you get in Control Warrior, and yes, this is a very expensive deck to build, such as Dr. Boom, not going to be there, such as Alex Straza, not going to be there. We want creatures that'll be good even if you miss their battle cry. So let's go over the deck briefly before we go into some games because this is still Control Warrior and I'm a little touchy on how exactly it's going to go because there are some key pieces that I've moved around here. You still have your Executes and Shield Slams. You still have your Fiery War Axe and your Death Bite. Only one Armor Smith and only one Cruel Taskmaster. I'm still not sure exactly about the early game on this, but I did include two sparring partners. Part of the reason for that is to combo with the Black Knight. You'll notice I have a very competitive six spot here. I'm only running one Shield Maiden right now, but I do have the Black Knight to combo with the sparring partner that is an eight mana removal of anything on the board, which is nice. Two Shield Blocks, which you could conceivably replace Shield Block in the early game with Bash which gives you three mana, deals three damage, and if you do shield block, shield slam, that's four mana for five damage. Bash is four mana for uh, six damage. So that could be more efficient, but I like the card draw. I'm still keeping two Acolytes of Pain for the same reason. I really like the card draw. Still keeping Big Game Hunter. Although one could say that you really want it, you don't want to include too many tech cards, but my control tech may be a card you want to start throwing in with so many people running Kind of flood the board cards uh let's see here one brawl because it's control warrior and we still want one brawl two sludge belchers not 100 percent convinced that a dragon variant of a varian ren deck could work which in that case you may want to switch out the sludge belchers for something else but then emperor thorissian mainly to try and reduce the cost for varian if it comes to that one shield maiden and then all the legendaries the only one that really relies on a battle cry in of itself is the black knight and that's such a good combo piece that well that's what you want in there but then all these other legendaries sylvanas stands on her own baron geddon stands on his own maybe a little too well sometimes uh grimrosh hell scream if you pull him you can still charge with him even if you can't necessarily activate him he's a good body to get out kelthazad i was really flipping between kelthazad or chromagus but i think kelthazad is stronger in this variant Carmagus, you're not always going to be able to get that card draw. Kel'Thuzad, almost always, you can make fantastic trades. Even reckless trades on your Varian Ren turn if you have a board. Uh, Ragnaros, the Fire Lord, welcome back. Our uh, Sulfuron Master. And then Ysera. Notice that I'm not running Alex Straza. I found, at least in Control Warrior right now, is that I with if you get enough stuff out with Varian, your opponent is not going to be able to come back unless it's a Paladin with a massive board clear. And Paladin does have a lot of massive board clear, so you kind of got to play around that a little bit. Varian Ren is not always a turn 10 play, as you'll probably see as we dive into the game. So let's go ahead and dive into some games. I must now this is interesting because traditionally uh, Druid is a pretty good matchup versus Warrior here. And you see I have all my late game early, so we're going to ditch all this and hope for a better game. The one thing that I'm still not sure of is one Cruel Taskmaster one armor smith and two other things right now we have two shield blocks we're gonna see how this goes we may not have enough early game fortunately druids tend to be a little slow but i'd prefer to have a weapon of some kind of course if it is a uh, beast druid things could be just a little bit different but once again it's all about controlling the board early and right now i don't have any executes don't have any shield slams uh well we are rank 15 so we're going to be getting a lot of experimentation here early and we're just going to have to avoid the uh, early onslaught of minions, I think. Turn 5 could very much be a brawl turn. 
I guess that's the way it's going to go, is we're playing against uh, Lobo de, de Aqua, which I'm not sure what that means, other than Lobo means doggy of some kind. Someone will scoop me on that really well. So here's five damage already. What you do not want, you absolutely do not want, versus any kind of uh, Druid variant, is to get within combo range, because they all run the combo. So I guess we are just going to draw cards and hope for the best right now. Because right now he can just go unimpeded in my face. But the control warrior still... You, you still gotta make it through the early game sometimes. And I do have plenty of early game minions here, but not the greatest start I've ever had. Okay, we are gonna do one shield block. Fiery War Axe, just a little late, but I'll take it. May coin into the Sludge Belcher next turn, depending on if he drops anything. Or depending on if I get something better here. Uh, Emperor could still be a good turn six. The problem with Emperor is the same problem that you have with Varian, though, is that if you're far behind and you're looking at possibly facing combo the next turn, you are uh, going to have an issue here. Control Warrior wants to control the board. I really want a Death's Bite. For instance, Death Spite would be a beautiful turn four play here. As I'm sure he's a little concerned about the fact that I didn't have a shield slam to coin out there. Maybe he's feeling pretty good. Like I said, if you can survive towards the combo time, then you'll be okay. He doesn't have to play anything right now. I do not like that. So we'll see what we can pull off here. Sludge Belcher is going to have to be the play. Although this is probably going to get Keeper of the Grove silenced. Better to get that out now than deal with it later. Alright, turn 5. Could very easily be Fiery War Axe Shield Block again. Where there we I go. Start? Is that a charge? It's a taunt. There we go. That is what I like to see. So, now your Ogre Brute doesn't want to attack very well. There is a fantastical Shield Slam. A little late, but... I guess probably the best move here. I could take this thing out, and if I do, he can attack it with hero power. And still have to push through with the Ogre Brute. I wonder. Let's do that first. Because I can always do this next time. Double Shield Slam. Alright. Uh, now, if he has a swipe or something right here that he swipes my face, I'll be pretty sad. I'm just gonna go straight in. See, look, you don't you don't normally ever see me get four mana right away. Now, if this attacks my face, anyway, I'll be a little okay. So now he's not doing anything interesting. Okay. I would normally love to run Thorissian here, but we're just gonna go ahead and do this. The reason I'm shield slamming here is that I want to preserve the weapon. Because I know it's in my hand. Turn 7 is a very good time for shield slamming as well. Could even cool Taskmaster shield slam. We'll see how it goes. Did I not attack? No, I played that one. The other one died the turn before. Duh. Okay. So now he has to play something. And I'm curious about what kind of deck this is if you're running a... Uh, Ogre or something other Starfire. Okay. That is a card that you can play. So I do have Varian, which means we need to Emperor. It's not the most efficient play ever. But it's going to draw out some more removal or make him put crap on the board. If we can get two cost reductions on Varian, that's great, but even one is a big deal. So there's Starfire. Had both in his hand. Well, that's okay. Alright. Well, that doesn't really do a lot for him right now, so we will go ahead and drop Ragnaros, because that's not going to change anything. And we're just going to put pressure on the board. It might be combo time for him, but if you can have a board or something there, when you pull Varian, it's going to be... Oh, there we go. Trends. Don't have Execute. This is a... I'm, I'm curious about what kind of deck this is. Okay, I don't have a hard removal 
for you, so we're just gonna drop Varian. Behold you know what? It's an experimental game Storm. early on. Armies of Stormwind! What will you bring us? Execute is awesome for next turn. Kel'Thuzad. Baron Geddon. There we go! And concede right away! That is the power of Varian Stormwind, is the power of auto concede from your opponent. We may have some short games here if that's how it goes. But you see, I got cost reduction down turn 9 Varian. That's where uh, Emperor plays really well in this deck. Let's play another one. So, Shaman, the card that's real, the deck that's making the really big comeback here. So, we are going to keep sparring partner. Going to drop these two. Debating keeping Emperor. I'm going to drop Execute as well. Because I'm not sure. Early on, a Totem Golem is going to be a pain in the ass. But I think it's something I can deal with if I got a weapon, but I didn't grab a weapon. But we do have Kel'Thuzad and Sylvanas. So our hands cluttered with legendaries. Welcome to Wallet Warrior Problems. How much dust is this deck? I'll have to do the math afterwards. Especially, I know Kel'Thuzad comes from the last wing of Naxxramas. So technically he costs zero dust. But that's not how this works. So turn two. Our, that is a totem golem. Let's let's put our not money on. Actually, that's coin. So we got totems spell power. All right. Let's go ahead and I I kind of want to put out sparring partner, but I don't want to give that totem taunt. But if we put acolyte of pain out, now that may attract to earth shock, which is okay. Um. Like I said, the biggest deal is just getting through the early game. We have lots of totems early. This has got to be a totem, totem, totem creature there. So we have Ysera. There's all of our big fat legendaries ahead of time. So we just got to make it to end game without getting bloodlusted all to hell. That's a good totem to have versus here. He's going to go attack. Do you have anything to play is my question. I could... There we go. Pilot Shredder. That's... That's the more thing I'm familiar with. I'm not using my words correctly today. All right, Emperor once again going to be very strong here. What else do we draw? Always want the information as well. Well, what do you know? We're getting all of our fat legendaries here early on. So I think the best play right now, how many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can overdraw me. I kind of want to avoid that. So let's go ahead and dump our hand just a little bit. Varian. Good. We know what we're doing on uh, the turn six. Makes okay, so two taunts. Buys us a little bit of time. We can put another taunt up. And you know what? All these legendaries getting a hit with Emperor is nice. I just have to actually survive. I don't have any weapons right now. Really? Trading in. Not the move I expected. I guess he really wants to deny me card draw. Is that an Earth Shock? Yep. With spell power. Didn't think about that. So that's good. Oh, that's good for him. Okay, cool Taskmaster, so I can't activate Gromash if it comes to that. Would love a Shield Slam of some kind. Yeah, how much dust is in my hand right now? This would be a great time to have a Vena or the Druid Legendary and two Innervates. Wrong class, I know. Alright, this is, like I said, this is where we can start running into some serious problems. Oh, that is a, that is a bad, that is a bad one to see. But I mean, I think I'm gonna have to, unless I get some kind of brawl or removal here, I'm gonna have to drop uh, Emperor, because it's the only thing that can really do me for here. So this is where you sometimes try and... Let's see here. Will we take the bait? If I was this shaman, I would just say thank you, I will bloodlust right now and kill you. And I don't expect that to happen. So. Okay, he's keeping the wave here. Yeah. Fiery War X is my card that I really want right now. Brawl is decent. Bash, this is where Bash could be good. And he hasn't even played anything yet. That's the four or five part. Mistcaller, okay. Well, Mistcaller is at least a slow card. Shit, okay. We're gonna have to f go fishing, I guess. Because I'm dead otherwise. Okay. Weak, weak, weak shield slam. But it's a shield slam. 
Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. Once again, if you're this is where you don't want all of your stacked cards in your hand. I have one, two, three, four, five. How many legendaries can I hold on to? This is pretty much this devalues Varian right here as part of the issue. I want my little cards in my hand. I don't want all my legendaries. So Lightning Storm, that's a good play. I'm probably just dead here, but that's okay. Shield block. Could save me. Brawl can still save me. All of his cards are plus one, plus one. Okay. So I am still super vulnerable to anything. Oh shit. Again. That is, uh, I just got too, way too late there. Alright. I think I'm still dead. I think there's absolutely nothing I can do here. So let's see here. That's... I have no time for games. I'm gonna play this. Well played. But yeah, this is just too many legendaries in your hand. You want Varian to pull these. You want your weapons and stuff early. So that's okay. And sometimes these kind of losses just happen. It's the nature of the game. You try and mitigate uh, the effects of RNG as much as possible. There we go. Fair and square. Let's do it again and see if this time we can have it more like the first game than like uh, this game. So one down, one up. And that's why you've still got to play a lot of games because the really good players out there still have something like a 55-60% win percentage. And that doesn't necessarily carry out over two games or three games. Okay, Priest here, and we have a Death's Bite early, like, I didn't get any weapon. I think that is honestly the first time that I have had um, all legendary stuffed in my hand playing Control Warrior like that. That was, like, one of the worst draws I've had in a very long time. So, two sparring partners. Interesting start. I don't know if it's worth dropping them both early with the coin. Baron Geddon also there. Baron Geddon was not in my hand last time, so we are... This, is, this may be too heavy on legendaries if I need to try and get some other cards in there. But there's no rush. <laughs> Greetings. Let's see if he drops anything on two. I don't mind taunting it. I haven't gotten a Black Knight combo in yet with testing this deck. But it's a thing. And it's something that you really want to get. So I can't target I can't target that with taunts, so that's gonna be okay. So is this more of a light bomb priest, maybe? As once again, our hand is just filling with legendaries right now. Okay, powered shield. Alright. That's gonna be worth the death spite, I think. Yeah, especially if I can drop uh, Acolyte next turn. I, I don't want this. Those guys can get out of control really easily. So once again, all the legendaries in my hand. And this is where I still... Like I said, all these decks are still very much subject to refinement. So where Control Warrior works really well is in all of its card draw. Like here's hopefully two cards being drawn. Big game hunter could be good later He's on. Oh, mana. Uh, mana addict. That's that could be good if he lets this guy live. And I do have a second death spite, which is really death nice. Does not scare me. All right, execute. Let's see if we can kill you anyway. Shield block. Alright. I can honestly try drawing a card here, but this is probably better. Gets me a possible minion out. We don't want it to be varying, but if it is, it is. Said so I'm obviously not patron warrior if I'm just throwing away my death bites like this. Well, we do have some good armor that we can create, so that's nice. Thought Steel. Now, if he gets Varian, that's going to be hilarious. Okay. So, I will have to Death's Bite into that to kill it, which is okay. So, let's make this a good two-for-one. I love getting Ragnaros out of here. Okay. 
We don't even need the Death's Bite right here. As I can just do this. Maybe I can save that for a little later. Armor Smith is okay. And then we will go ahead and taunt up the Armor Smith as well. Cool. That works pretty nicely. We still have our BGH. We still have some Let decent other plays. That's not great. Gotta remember I'm playing against Priest. That's it. That still works out though. Now let's drop our other acolytes. Let the pain speak to me. Okay, fiery war axe is good. Is this worth executing? I guess is the question of the turn. I think the answer is yes, because I can trade out the board. And I'm going to assume that I have a better late game than you do later on. Alright, so I could have traded that out. We'll see. We'll see if that's the right move or the wrong move. I'm going to wait to equip the more ice, though. Because as much as I want to have the threat up there, if he's he's probably has Harrison by now. Created by Thought Steel. That's exciting. So one extra card draw for you. It's a little unusual for me to be so far ahead on the card draw here. Alright, I cannot actually kill Thrissy this turn. Unless I get a good Ragnaros hit. Now I can. Alright. Okay, Varian is decent. Operating with pain. Sludge Belcher is good too. We just armor up here a little bit, and it's it's looking all right. He's got all of his cards cost redu reduced. A lot of my good pulls for Varian are in my hand, but that's okay. I think I'm out of Grimash Activators, which stinks a little bit, but it could be worth actually charging them on the board. I must the damned stand ready. Right. I really want to know if he got Varian. Minions. Ah, that's a good one too. That's exciting. That is, a, that is an amazing top deck, though. All right. So whenever you want to play Varian, you want to have a board of some kind. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go one. We're not going to hit the Dark Cultist. And we'll see if Varian does good for us here. As I apologize if you hear a dog barking in the background, but survive one thought steal. And we know Kel'Thuzad is still available. But chances are, with so many creatures, it may just be spells. But still, the draw three is good. Just three mana for drawing three is not great. Really? Well, that sucks. I mean, there's there's things. There's That's actually pretty nice for me. Okay, now I've just got to survive this turn. Do I dare? I think I do. Your skills are growing. Oh, we get the Anduin talk anyway. That's right. Okay, so... Sylvanas, we don't have any more taunts to draw, Kel'Thuzad, Shield Slam. Can he kill me this turn, is what I want to know. Because he has a lot of damage. I do have a Shield Maiden with Shield Slam, which is going to be nice. I do have a never-ending Sylvanas Windrunner, which is great. I just have to survive this turn. And I have to hope he doesn't have Light Bomb. Like I said, Varian's good. You just have to set up the board and 
if he's running two mind controls, he might be doing a little better. But he could have. I can I can see why he made the play to get the Sludge Belcher. But against Control Warrior, there are better targets than Sludge Belcher. There really, really are. But it's nice that we get to hear Varian actually say something different to his son. Which is good, so is he just leaving or he's really thinking about something right now? Because he's got to trade in somehow. He can actually kill Kel'Thuzad with his board. Which is good for him. But if he's just rage quit, that'll be slightly disappointing. And it looks like that's what's happening. So, how are we going to do this? I think we are going to do... Your opponent left. Yep, just left. So that's the power of varying Ren, is getting opponents to quit, I guess. And we're just going to go ahead and play cards, because we can. I Shield Maiden. Yeah, we can't do anything. There's the win. Alright, so whenever you play Varian, your opponent concedes if you get a good set of minions out. But if you get all legendaries in your hand, that kind of becomes a problem. So let's overview the deck just one more time. Because I think I think this deck still needs refinement, and I'm very happy to take suggestions here. Because the weakness, as you may have seen, is your hand can get really cluttered with legendaries. I'm running one, two, three, four, five, six. I can lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine legendaries. That is a third of my deck. As a third of my deck. I could probably cut some things out. Like, I didn't even get to use the Black Knight combo. So I might actually cut Black Knight and uh, one sparring partner. And, like, put a Cruel Taskmaster back in. Or put an Armorsmith back in. Those are possible changes to make. But Baron Geddon's really good versus Aggro. Sylvanas is really solid in general. Could put a second Shield Maiden in there just to get some armor and everything. Bash is still a card that I'm considering. But like I said, Varian, the power of intimidation is, I guess, the way to go. Which he is the, uh, maybe one day uh, he'll be the Mary Sue Thrall equivalent for the alliance that uh, Thrall was for the Horde. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you've probably forgotten all about the Cataclysm storyline and how Thrall is pretty much a dragon aspect. But hey... That's neither here nor there. That is the King Me deck. Varian Control Warrior. You can total the dust that it costs. I promise you it is not cheap. But if you have the cards to run it, you know what? I think it is going to be a thing for this expansion. Varian does have his drawbacks because he is 10 mana. But I think those are... Once you build a deck that's actually tailored to not losing battle cries, I think you're in pretty good shape. This is Asher. Thanks again for watching yet another deck guide. I will see you all next time. Take care.